luxurious foaming soaps, durable dispenser construction, and ADA compliant performance without attaching anything to mirrors or walls. Congratulations on the purchase of your new counter-mounted foam soap dispensing system. Your facility now has the most modern and convenient soap dispensing system available for counter-style installations. Say goodbye to messy refills, funnels, or crawling around on the floor to install expensive replacement cartridges. This video takes you step-by-step step through the initial dispenser installation and soap filling as well as soap refilling. The installation is simple. Two people may be required based on the depth of the counter surface. Make sure countertop surface around and inside the mounting hole is clean and dry. You will need to adjust the clamping nut and gasket so that the top of the threaded shaft will be at least one half inch above the top of the counter surface. From below the counter, insert the threaded shaft through the hole in the counter and hold in place. From above the counter, insert the dip tube attached to the dispenser pump through the shaft and into the soap reservoir. When the dip tube is completely inserted, the threaded base of the pump will meet the top of the threaded shaft. From below the counter, turn the threaded shaft until the connection between the dispenser pump and the shaft is tight. From above the counter, position the pump to the desired location. From below the counter, tighten the clamping nut and gasket. The clamping nut should be tight against the underside of the counter. If you want the soap reservoir closer to the underside of the counter, the threaded shaft can be cut at the break in the threads. Shortening the shaft also requires the length of the dispenser tube to be shortened by three and a half inches. Cut the threaded shaft at the break in the threads. Measure three and a half inches from the bottom of the valve located at the end of the dip tube. Cut the plastic dip tube. Remove the valve from the piece of tube that has been cut. Now insert the valve into the bottom of the tube that is attached to the pump. Important! Do not attempt to pull and remove the tube from the bottom of the pump. Now let's look at the filling and refilling process. Grip the pump head and rotate one quarter turn counterclockwise. That's to the right when facing the point of the dispenser pump. Remove the pump head to gain access to the refill dock. Insert the nozzle of the refill bag into the refill dock by aligning the square pegs of the nozzle into the square notches. Grip the bag collar and rotate one quarter turn to open. Do not squeeze the bag. Product will flow into the sealed soap reservoir cartridge below the counter. If you are filling the reservoir for the first time, allow the entire contents of the bag to drain. When refilling an existing dispenser, the flow of soap will stop when the reservoir is full. Rotate the bag collar one quarter turn when finished. Remove the nozzle. Replace the pump head by sliding it over the refill duct. Then turn to lock in place. The metal band should be tight against the base of the dispenser when the pump is in the locked position. In the event the pump becomes worn or no longer functions properly, replacement pumps are available. The following are the simple steps required to replace the pump. Grip the pump head and rotate one quarter turn counterclockwise. Remove the pump. Slide the stainless steel band over the bottom of the pump. Install the stainless steel band onto the replacement pump. Replace the pump head by sliding it over the refill dock. Turn to lock in place. The metal band should be tight against the base of the dispenser when the pump is in the locked position. 
Contact the appropriate contractor to drill a hole through the counter surface. The hole should be one inch in diameter, located between two inches and three and a half inches from the inside rim of the bowl. A hole through the counter that is greater than one and a half inches in diameter is too large for proper installation of this dispensing system. Proceed with the installation. The installation will be successful. However, the tip of the soap dispenser pump will be located over the counter rather than over the bowl of the sink. This concludes your instruction on the counter-mounted foam soap dispensing system. You are now prepared to provide a high-quality hand-washing experience to all restroom patrons who utilize your facility. Should you have any questions about the system, please contact your distributor sales representative for more information.